you know, it was very funny when we did the the pilot for Flash when they asked me to come back as Harry Henry Allen, you know, uh, Barry's father wrongly convicted of killing his mother in front of a 10 year old Barry, you know, mm -hmm. which was not my origin story in 1990 right. Brothers for CBS at all. So that was just a role I would want to do, whether I had never been Barry Allen or not. But having been Barry Allen, it brought those things together. You know, it's like you talk about being in the moment, being close to who you really are, because it was a unique situation. I was playing his father. I had done this role. He knew I had played the role. I knew what he was taking on, maybe what some of his hopes and dreams and insecurities might be. And so there were times in those beautifully written scenes between Henry and Barry uh, in the in the uh, prison in Iron Heights that, you know, I didn't know if Henry was talking to Barry or if Old Flash was talking to New Flash or if John was talking to Grant. And when those things all come together... Wow. Yeah, it's it's really then but those scenes I can watch and go, they will always be among my favorite. That's great. That's a great feeling, too. Do you do you look back and think, God, you know, if we had the producers or the just the knowledge we have now and, the, you know, if we had different producers or designers or whatever it is for the flash of 1990 when you were there, this could have been something big. And, and, and also, how did you deal with that disappointment if it only lasted a year, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we had it all. We were the most expensive show Warner Brothers had ever done for television oh, wow. at that point. It was a high-tech suit designed by Oscar winner, you know, Bob Short and Bilt. Um, and our writing was great. Danny Bilson and Paul DeMeo were excellent. I mean, we had uh, Howard Chaikin. As a story editor, we had, uh, I don't even want to start naming because we had so many right. great and talented people. And we were nominated for an Emmy for art direction. Right. When we did a big lot premiere on the back lot for the international press, our reviews were through the roof. I mean, Washington Post, New York Times, I mean, the big Louisville Courier Journal, you know, wow. and they talked about the acting and they talked about the art direction and they talked about at the time state-of-the-art effects right. for television. And so we were a creative and industry hit. Now, it was the hardest thing I have ever done. I mean, we would start at 7 a.m. Monday morning and work till 10 or 11 at night, come in 10 and 11 at Tuesday and uh, work till 2 in the afternoon on Wednesday, come in at 2. And so by Wednesday or Thursday, we were shooting all night. By Saturday, we were blacking in the back lot at Warner Brothers to shoot day for night. And then we were back in at 7 a.m. Monday morning. Um, and you're in everything. We, you're in every day. You're, I mean, you're the Flash. I mean, our transportation department, whenever I thought I had it bad, I'd look at, you know, the fact that they were, they were having 25, 26-hour days. I mean, our overtime was through the roof. And we were already budgeted. Um, so... At, by the time we did that through the third week in August, through the second week in May, with five days off for four days off for Christmas, and that was it. Wow. Because we had to do mostly live action practical effects. We didn't have the CGI right. capability then that we have now. And so it was hours and hours and hours. And Danny and Paul were uncompromising. They yeah. wanted to do the show that they wanted to see. And so I can look at it today and I can appreciate, I can appreciate the fact that the technology has come. It's 30 years later, yeah. one would hope, yeah. you know. And I think what I was saying, I think what I meant to say was, why didn't the stars align for that project? And now that hearing you say all this, you know, all you had all these great components of it. So why didn't it succeed has to be even more disappointing. Now you're like, you know, it just was, it was revered. It was all these things. So what was it? Well, it was a combination of things. I think, number one, it was 30 years ago. Putting on a superhero costume in 1990 was very different from putting on a superhero costume in 2014 yes, when the new yes. CW show. We were like, I was hesitant to even audition for it because I had been on Broadway in New York. I had my two daytime Emmys. I had, you know, I had fashioned myself a, a, a series and I thought, 
only superhero reference I had was being spoofed at that point. And I just didn't think that that was where my talent lay. And then April Webster, who I'm sure you know, multiple Emmy Award winning casting director, said, John, just read the script. That's all I ask. And then I, I read it and there were all these human values. There was the unblessed son of a cop family in which real cops work the streets. But I had gone into the crime lab so that my mom didn't have to worry that all of her men might not come home that night. My older brother was the street cop who my dad loved and my dad was always putting me down. So Bear, my Barry was the unblessed son, you know, in the family who gets these superpowers and his first reaction is, I don't want to know from this. I have no uh, desire to be a hero. I have no pretensions to be a hero. I have settled for my lot in life and that's the deal until his brother's killed. And then it's like, okay, it's on. And then he has all this ability that he knows his dad, it would make his dad so proud, but he can't tell him. So there was all, I'm starting to feel it, you know, by about that point. Right. And then they promised me, we will not put you in a pair of red tights. I came to kind of regret that later because that suit was so hot. It was, I'd be in it for 20 minutes and you could ring me out. But I don't want to, you know, the last thing people want to hear is those of us who have been fortunate enough to play these iconic characters to <laughs> yeah. sit around and whine about our suits. Right, you know right, I mean? right. But uh, there, were, there were challenges. 